an app to help arrange funerals in South Africa. The death of a loved one may be both a devastating loss and a reckoning. It is overwhelming enough to send a loved one to their last place of rest with dignity in South Africa, while grumbling and respecting cultural responsibilities and tending to unfathomable teas and coffees for friends and families while trying to ensure that you're on time to sign up for your Zoom meeting 12 p.m. Then there's the actual funeral planning. What coffin or hat would my siblings or members of my family agree to? After the ceremony, will everyone eat? How can we share things fairly? The list goes on. The send-off app attempts to address these issues. Like booking a room on Airbnb. That's the same procedure you'd follow with send-off. You download the app, then search for the service or bundle you're looking for. You may pick by seller, price, or location. But ultimately, you decide, CEO Zalani Mitbese. To arrange a funeral, Mitbese says he went from service provider to service provider until finding what he needed, at the appropriate price, for his loved one. I think it would have been helpful for me, because I could have arranged all this, knowing it's a one-stop shop on the app, he said, adding, so I must have been through all kinds of persons so I could do one thing. While the software is still in its infancy, young professionals who must plan funerals for family members have responded positively. For this reason, Mitbese claims its send-off app target market is the age range of 35 to 45 years. The age group we targeted, 35 to 45 year olds, has taken up the job of funeral planner far quicker than we expected, due to the aging population. So, you know, the population we expected to utilize send-off had that need far sooner than we expected, he says. The app will be accessible throughout South Africa in October 2021, starting in Gauteng.